Hello from Chinature.com, this is Mark Josie. Today I'll be opening up the Diablo air dry system or yeah, dry air system. Okay, so this thing is uh, for the Omega um, hen, uh, not hen, sorry, the Omega <laughs> compressor, the PCP guns compressor. So this thing actually makes the uh, air much better for your gun and tanks because it dries up the air inside. Okay, so now we want to open the thing up uh, and uh, so here is how you do it so basically you take this okay take the hose off first you can take it off or whatever okay so let me just clamp it off there I go okay take off the hose and after like a long time of use you have to open this thing uh, because if you don't okay the the stuff inside is going to be used up so you need to really um, you know get it reset okay so what you need is a piece of leather very easy piece of leather and then a channel lock right here okay channel lock Make sure you test to see this is okay. Okay, so protect the coating by using a piece of leather. And we'll lock it down with the channel lock and twist it. There you go. Very easy, eh? Quite easy indeed. Okay, oops. We need to unscrew a little bit more. So basically, it's just undoing the thing like so okay loosen it up you see there's a gap here now you can loosen it up by hand um, I was told by the uh, VP of Raptor Pneumatic uh, Todd he say that you don't have to loop it okay just don't do anything to the inside it's fine like that Leave it as this, okay, should be fine. Uh, I have seen their tests. They tested this in a destruction lab and it can withstand over um, 14,000 or 15,000 PSI pressure. So it's a very, very, very scary strong tube. Okay, so there's no way you can fail with this thing. So don't clean off the stuff in there, just leave it as this. And that's what, ooh, and that's what's inside. So basically that's, that's a piece of foam, okay, remember to keep that, uh, protect the stuff from dust. And now we're going to pour all these things out. Okay, that's it. Okay, the tube itself is hollow, there's no, nothing in there other than these. Okay, that's what's inside. The white beads are the uh, drying stuff, the desiccant, and the blue ones, okay, the blue, the blue ones are the, um, the 13X desiccant, uh, they're supposed to be stronger than the normal ones, a lot stronger. So when they're used up, these things will turn uh, pink, okay? So when they turn pink, you take these things, so all, the, all of these things, okay? Put it on a baking tray, and then you bake it uh, in low heat, like 375, something. Bake it for one or two hours, and it will dry everything up, okay? After it's all dried up, you can cool it down and pour this back into this tube. So now I'm going to do that uh, just to like put it back back into the tube. It, it helps to have a container like that with a corner. So I'm going to do that slowly and carefully. I wish my container is a bit better, but anyway. So basically all you do is just shove the stuff back after drying the beads up. Okay. Will help a lot if I have a better container again. <laughs> the edge is so round. Okay. Okay, anyway, just be patient. Pour the stuff back in. You can buy 
these uh, beads from uh, Raptors from Attic or uh, Airgun of Arizona. Like tell them about it. You know, say you want refills, and maybe they can quote you a price for it, whatever. Or you can choose to bake it and then reuse them, just like this. Okay, make sure that there's no no more beads on the threading. So when you actually thread the stuff back, it won't like glue or jam in the way. Okay, so yeah, some of some of them you see really get stuck right there with the grease and shit. So I would say it's safe to you know do it slowly and make sure everything is packed back into the spot. Okay, they do stick to the grease. Holy crap. Okay, so okay. This is my second time opening up the tube and I find that the worst part is that your beads will jam into the threading so make sure you check inside here all the time just check and see if anything's in there okay well after you're done okay put this uh, foam or whatever pack it back whoops pack it back like that okay there we go okay, pack it back nice and packed okay and then hand tighten the cover hand tighten the cover back and that's how you do it so basically that's it for uh, this project so after you dry everything up screw it back in and the thing is ready to be used again i have been filling up a lot of tanks and stuff with this thing and um i can tell you that the the blue beads are still blue so i don't think you need to actually open it up uh in a long long time but anyway just you know open up check the inside and see if they need to be dry and of course now we have to screw in this hose and it's done wow easy okay so basically that's it okay hose back everything's tight and we're good to go remember to keep your test plug inside this hole the quick disconnect so that it's going to stay clean and free from dirt and stuff you don't want dirt inside here Okay, so basically that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.